tears of joy and relief. After two-year wait, Brazil's indigenous peoples are celebrating victory. Nine out of 11 Supreme Court justices have ruled in favor of their constitutional rights to claim ancestral lands, without any time limits. The vote was accompanied by hundreds of indigenous leaders camped outside the building. The decision is extremely important. It buries once and for all any attempt to establish a time frame, limiting our claims to ancestral land, and ultimately cancelling hundreds of them. The powerful farm lobby has been arguing that the government should only consider some claims, those made by tribes who were occupying their lands in 1988. That was the year Brazil's democratic constitution was enacted giving indigenous peoples rights to their territories. Indigenous activists argued the time frame wasn't fair. Paul that many tribes were expelled by force from their territories during the two-decade military dictatorship and could not return to their lands without putting their lives at risk. Since 2021, when the Supreme Court started ruling on this case, indigenous leaders across Brazil have been marching in the capital, Brasilia, to make their voices heard. Years of uncertainty have contributed to land disputes between indigenous tribes and farmers, loggers and miners. The Supreme Court decision should help put an end to the violence. But indigenous leaders tell us that the battle is far from over. Next week, Brazil's Senate is expected to vote on a bill which would open indigenous territories to commercial activities. The legislation, backed by the farm lobby and the conservative majority in Congress, has already been approved by the House of Representatives. If ratified, it would open a new chapter of debate about how much independence the indigenous people have to decide what will happen on their lands. Monica Yanakiv, Al Jazeera, Rio de Janeiro. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.